Dearly beloved, you have come together here before a minister of the church in the presence of the community so that your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal and your love be enriched with his blessing so that you may have strength to be faithful to each other forever and to assume all the responsibility of married life. Now today, Drew and Leela, you are saying to each other, I agree, to live as your husband, to live as your wife for the rest of my life. here today because you said that you are in love to be in love oh that's a great thing but today what you're saying to each other is that you're going to grow in love the most important attribute of God is described in first John God is love and man and woman are called to love one another Looking beautiful. Thank you, Daddy. Looking beautiful. <laughs> Leela and Drew, this union that is most serious because it will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and so intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole future. That future, with its hopes and disappointments, its successes and its failures pleasures and his pain is hidden from your eyes. And so not knowing what is before you, you take each other for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, until death. Because these words involve such solemn obligations, it is most fitting that you rest in the security of your wedded life upon the great principle self-sacrifice. Only love can make it easy, and perfect love can make it a joy. And it's that joy we pray for you today. I, Drew, take you, Leela, to be my wife. I, Leela, take you, Drew, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you. To honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You may now kiss your bride. May I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Drew and Leela Chamberlain. 